afternoon from a lovely Kadar Idris. That's the uh, that's the trick point. So that's the summit of Kadar Idris just up there. Um, what a great first half. We've had everything. Still a little bit of snow in the air as well. Couldn't believe it. Stopped earlier. I thought perfect. You know, it's t-shirt weather. I thought perfect. I've got this amazing view. I'm going to sit here. I'm going to make a cup of tea and I'm going to have my lunch. As soon as I did it, wind picked up, snow came in. Honestly, you couldn't write it. And now I've stopped, the uh, the sun's back out. Anyway, let's have a quick chat about the route. That's where I came up, and then basically this ridge line that you see behind me, I followed that all the way up, and then it comes all the way up to the summit there of Kadar Idris, which is lovely. And down here, I mean, you get views of this lake, which is... Clin, clin cow, clin, clin cow. Anyway, absolutely beautiful. I went down there, um, yeah, freezing cold water, but absolutely lovely. Up to the summit, there's a really cool shelter up there as well. So I think one day I might come up here and stay overnight in that shelter. So from the summit, like I said, I've just dropped down here just to have a bit of a chat with you. And all I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna follow this all the way over to over to there but what I'll do is when I get back to the car I'll get the map out and I'll show you I'll show you the route that I took it's it's, it's very simple you can't really get lost especially when the weather's like this <laughs> love it it's been a while now since I last went into the mountains so this definitely feels good I will speak to you again in a bit probably when I get to the car so Enjoy the rest of the video. Take care. So it's 20 to 4, I set off about 9 o'clock, I did stop, I had, a, I had a good lunch, took a lot of pictures, doing the filming, you know, walking past the camera and then coming back. So I would say that I've done that route twice, you know, of all the, right? 
no no I don't think so either um so yes yeah, so I'm back at the car um, I'm gonna have some noodles I'm gonna have a stretch I'm gonna have a cup of tea and I'm just gonna work out where I'm gonna sleep tonight and go find a different car park and park up just so I'm not sat in the same car park for two three nights in a row but yeah that was great fun um, so what we'll do now is, uh, is I'm gonna sort myself out and then I'm gonna take you into the car and then uh, and then we'll just we'll just talk through talk through the route on the map yeah, let's do that. Let's talk about the route on the map, shall we? I'll show you the route that I went. All right, let's go. Okay, so I completely forgot to do the whole map bit when I got into my car. I got into my car, had a power nap, fell asleep for a good couple of hours, drove somewhere else, and then I actually cracked on and uh, did some more climbing of, uh, of some hills. Anyway, I'm back home. I have the map, so I'm gonna show you now exactly uh, the route that we did. So let's talk about the route that we did. This is where I started, in this car park here. I spent the night sleeping in my car. Uh, nice and quiet at night time along this road. During the day it gets a little bit busy. What I then did, woke up in the morning after some breakfast, walked down this trail here, came all the way down, picked up this track, and this is pretty much the official start for the route going up Kadar Idris. There are some public toilets, so you can do all your, your morning routine there. There is also a car park here if you want to be a bit closer, but just bear in mind that you have to pay for parking. This one is free. I'm a tight ass, so I parked up there and just walked down. From here, you walk across through all the lowlands and then into the woodlands. Okay, and then all I did is just followed this trail here all the way to Klingkau. And that's where we got all the, the, the gorgeous footage, you know, the, the green, bluey sort of water and everything, which was absolutely stunning. And you could see all the uh, all the ridge line here from here, then walk back. OK, and up through this trail here, which took us all the way along over the ridge line and basically just followed that all the way here to this trig point, which is the summit of Kadar Idris. And you can even see on the map there where it says shelter which is the shelter that I showed you in the video. After that, that's where we stopped at the halfway point and pretty much I did my little video piece for you and then just carried on for the second part of the video was just following this route all the way along here through this trail here and then we just picked up this wall down this area here, back along, okay, and then just followed this trail back into the car park, which is where I then went to sleep and I forgot to do this video. So there we have it, a nice, fun, exciting route of Kadar Idris. Definitely recommend getting up there and giving that route a go. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Definitely think about subscribing to the channel and I will see you very soon in the next video. Look after yourself and be safe out there guys. Take care.